It is super windy outside, and it feels pretty scary actually. And but this is the winter in Toronto, so yeah, it's the same every day. So today I want to share news with you. It's well, I decided to sell my iPhone Seven Plus. I really decided to sell my iPhone 7 Plus because I decided to switch to the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. I mean, I still believe that the iPhone 7 is a really great smartphone, but I'm just a little bit tired and bored about the Apple community and Apple systems and all the Apple stuff. Uh. I love switching between different smartphones. I always try the latest one, the coolest one, the greatest one. I mean, that is how technology progress, and that is how technology is improved day after day. So, I mean, I still recommend people to get in the iPhone 7 Plus because it's still the most powerful, greatest phone in the world at this moment. But I just Really, really excited about the gorgeous design, the most beautiful design on the Galaxy S8. That is why I'm really, really excited about switching to the new Samsung flagship smartphone. I already sold my Apple Watch, as you can see. Before, there's Apple Watch right there. Now, nothing. I already sold it. I sent it to the buyers. I just sent it to my buyers today. And yeah, I'm ready for the full transition to the new Galaxy S8. I mean, it seems like a very, very stupid decision because I just got this phone for like for two months. I just got it for like for two months. I bought it at the beginning of February and now it's the beginning of April. I only had it for two months. Now I don't want to sell it. Why? I mean... This is my plan probably. I decided to use the Samsung Galaxy S8 until the release of the new iPhone, probably the iPhone 8 this year, and see how it will change my mind and make me switch back to iPhone again. I don't know. I'm always curious and excited about the new technologies. So that is why I decided to yeah, sell my iPhone 7 Plus. I already listed on the eBay, so I hope it will sell at a good price because the demand is pretty high for the iPhone 7 Plus. Yeah, so that is basically an update on my smartphone situation that I finally decided to switch. That is awesome, but the biggest things and the biggest concern for me is how do I switch and transfer all these apps, all these data to my Samsung new smartphone. It's ridiculous. There is really a no great way for you to actually transfer all your apps or your data easily from the iPhone to a Samsung Android devices. And that really sucks. I mean, transfer between iPhone and iPhone is actually a pretty easy process. You just back up to iCloud or back up to your computer and just transfer it back to your new iPhone. But switching between the Android smartphone and the iPhone is truly a pain in the ass. The only way for you to like download all these apps, you have to find it one by one on the Google Play Store and just download it. And I have like tons of apps here in my phone. I don't know how how I'm going to do that but it's gonna be a mess I need to like spend the first few hours when getting the Galaxy S8 and just download all the apps that is ridiculous and it's so it's such a technology advanced society but we haven't found an easy way to transfer the data or apps easily from one smartphone to another smartphone. That is so, so ridiculous. I don't understand that. But the photo is pretty easy to transfer. You have the Google photo, you have your iCloud photos. So that is pretty easy. I'm not worried about that. And transfer phone numbers, these kind of stuff is pretty easy also. But I mean, just transferring the app is the worst thing 
I can possibly think about when you're getting a new smartphone, especially you are switching from one platform to another platform. This is so, so, so crazy. I don't understand that. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I used a lot of Android smartphone before. I used the Pixel before. I used the Nexus before. I do use the HTC before. I used the Audi G5, G4, and G3 before. I used the Sony smartphone before. I used pretty much all major brand. I used it before. Uh, and I have to say, if only allows me to judge between like it's better for iOS or it's better for Android. I mean, I was definitely a little bit better. It's a little bit smoother. It's the experience is just a little bit awesome. And but I'm just so excited about the design and all uh, the hardware or the great innovations on the Galaxy S8. That is why I decided to switch. I really want a phone with the design like the Galaxy S8, but have the software as the iOS, that would be amazing. That would be the perfect smartphone I want. Design like Galaxy S8, but system like the iPhone 7 Plus. That will be super, super awesome. So yeah, that is just a quick update, talking about switching between my phone and... Yeah, that's it for today. Oh, by the way, I just went to the Whole Foods to get some groceries and I have dinner there and let me tell you that I found the most disgusting things I can possibly have. It's a soup. It's a kind of a soup that's sold in Whole Foods and I get a bowl of it and it's super salty, it's super sour, uh, it's the worst, worst, most disgusting soup I have ever had in my life. So disgusting. I basically throw it to the garbage bin. I know I'm wasting food, but uh, I just can't drink it. Come on, it's so bad. But otherwise, the, the food in the Whole Foods is pretty good. I mean, Whole Foods is really one of my favorite supermarkets out there, and I really love it. But that soup is just ridiculously not good. So that's it for today. Everyone have a great, great day. And see you tomorrow. Bye.